In this video, we will run the test band simulation in model sim. Then we will set the waveform to be viewed later on without re-simulation. And we will also see how to run another simulation using the same waveform configuration. Before doing the simulation in model sim, I always like to write down all the required commands so that I can copy paste into the model sim later on. So let's make a new file real quick. Let's say we want to have uh, in a markdown format. Let's copy my notes. And after that, we need to change the design to the name of our design. In this case, our design is my soul get. Therefore, I simply replace them with my soul get. Like this. Replace all. Alright, we have all the commands that we can easily copy paste for use in model sim later on. Okay, now we are in model sim. The first thing that we do is to add our test bench. Browse to the test bench folder and click on this test bench. Compile it and then to simulate the test bench, actually we can go here and then double click on this. But then because we will need to save the web form for view later, I will use the command here. Let me quickly copy paste the command. The command that we are using is vsim and then we specify the web log format file. This is how we save the web form using the name that we want and then we will run the test bench let's copy this and go to the model sim press this press enter all right then what we are going to do is to drag click and drag this to here so we have just drag down the all of the signals in our design and then what we'll do is to run the simulation let me click run all when we are asked whether we are sure to finish click no and here you have it the waveform output you can zoom full to see all of them you can change the format to retrieve to see the result better This is the output. Uh, this is wrong. All right. At the so as you can see the during the start of the simulation, the value of IAIB is zero zero, and then after. A cycle of clock during the rising edge, the IAIB will be updated because in the code we we have this part. We have this part which is to load the new test vector on rising edge. So during this rising edge, the next Test vector will be loaded, which is 0, 1. And the third one is 1, 0. And finally, 1, 1 for both input A and B. This third line is the expected output, while this is the output from the device under the test. As you can see, the socket 0, 0. 0, 0 will get 0, which is correct. And 0, 1 
we'll get one one zero we will get one again and finally what when both inputs are one we will get output which is zero so our device and the output from our device under test have the same output with the expected output this means our test is successful and you can see under the transcript window here what we wrote here monitor will be printed out here so when the simulation is about to finish the number of tests completed and number of error count will be displayed this is why self-checking test bench is useful because we don't have to manually look at the output and the expected output and compare them manually using our eyes when the design gets complex the self-testing feature will be very really, really useful before we create the simulation we should have the web configuration so that the next time when we open up the web form we don't have to manually change the format to retriever or anything all of the configuration will be saved so go to file save format for the name let's put it as my do okay now the waveform format has been saved now that we have saved our waveform format, we can quit the simulation by typing quit dash sim and then press enter. To view the waveform again, we can use this command. We sim view the waveform format and also specify the .do file that we have just saved. Just now let's copy this and then paste in here now you can see the exactly same waveform without any re-simulation to close this waveform viewer we will use this command data set close the name of your design which is my socket as in here let's enter and then we are back to the normal view of our model sim thirdly if we want to do the simulation again let's say we have made some changes to our file to our band or whatever when we want to re-simulate, we can use, use this command. So let me quickly change something. For example, I change the text here and I want to run the simulation again, but then with the same waveform. Let's see how to do that. Go to project, make sure you compile the out of that the compilation was successful and then to use the same waveform again we use this command that we have just copied basically it it loads up the waveform format and also the wave format and then do a run all based on the test bench press enter And now you see the exactly same waveform as before with the changes in our transcript 